Hello, I'm Myla Short, and today I will be presenting my business idea. When I was first presented with the task of producing a business that solves a problem, I thought it was going to be easy since a lot of businesses don't actually solve a problem or the customers aren't quite sure what the problem is that they're solving. But after learning more about becoming an entrepreneur, I realized it's not as easy as I first thought. My original idea was to create a food truck that would park on school grounds and offer healthy food options for students in the high school. This would also allow classes such as the culinary agriculture to get first-hand experience of working for a business. I would also like um, the agriculture classes to be able to use their freshly farm-grown foods in the food truck to really make sure that this is healthy and good for high school students to be putting in their bodies. The solution would solve the lack of healthy foods given out in high school cafeterias. So many students have complained about the lack of healthy and tasty food given out at, at lunches. This food truck would give some variety to students on what they could purchase for meals. After gathering information and interviewing potential stakeholders about starting a food truck to benefit schools, I was, it was first brought to my attention that the food sold at high schools is run by the state. My idea would have to get approved by the state level and it could set back my, my food truck business idea. After hearing that, I decided to scratch the idea of putting it for high schools, but keep the idea of keeping healthy foods and open the food truck up for the community, not just students. This would not only help financially, but it would also bring some healthy food options to the people in the area. I would think this food truck would f do really well right outside the University of Tampa because most food trucks bring in um, young customers and right outside of a um, college would really help me financially. While gathering my knowledge, I interviewed three potential stakeholders. The people I, inter I interviewed were a high school student, a high school teacher, and a parent of a high schooler. I asked them three basic questions just to get their input on my solution. They all agreed that this is a great and creative way to offer healthy food options for students and even the community. Some concerns they had um, were mainly about the pricing and making sure that it's good for the community. Because if the food truck was in a low income community, the pricing couldn't be too high because the customers wouldn't be able to actually purchase the food. But if a food truck was in a high income community, you still need to make sure the prices are achievable, but they also help you financially. Um, the teacher thought that the food still needs to be tasty since that was one of the concerns of the high school students. So the community should be able to purchase healthy food options that, are also, that also still taste good. The student also agreed with that and thought that the food truck needed to target the right consumers, such as young people, since it is going to be outside of a university. I chose to interview these types of people because I knew they would be potential consumers of this food truck, and those would be my potential target, targeted um, customers. I did inform all of them about changing my idea to become more of a community-focused business, and they still all agree that this would help solve the problem of unhealthy food options in the area. The most useful lessons I have learned in this class so far are to take action, to gain knowledge, and take up opportunities that are given to you. These lessons have caused me to think more like an entrepreneur. I understand how to do research and interview people. I understand that nothing is going to get done unless you act. I also understand that if you see an opportunity, you must take it and get the correct mind and get into the correct mindset. Because if you're in the wrong mindset, you think an opportunity is just a problem that cannot be fixed. But if you get into the entrepreneurial mindset, you understand and you see a problem that could potentially be an opportunity in benefiting your business. There are many steps that can be taken to help you find a problem solution fit. Solution fit. One action is bootstrapping. This is when an entrepreneur starts with little to no money. This is a useful technique because it allows you to think about hidden opportunities and potentially create a better business. It also allows for all the focus to be on your business. So you're not focused about money, you're focused on making sure this business 
can thrive. Another action is gaining customers. It is important to attract a lot of customers because they are what make or break your business. This will help you out financially and physically because they can spread the word about your business. So if my food truck is parked outside of a, of a college, um, I still want to make sure that the young community um, can spread the word and also like my business because they will make or break it and they determine my ultimate success. Lack of money you can overcome, but finding customers is key. Research is another big action. If you learn more about the business you are trying to create, you will eventually find things that you do not think will work and will then make your business better. After finding out that I could not make my food truck for high schools, I researched and found that food trucks and communities make more money, attract more customers, and affect more people. My healthy food will now be accessible for everyone in the community and not limited to just high schoolers. These are my resources. I used a Yelp website to gather more competitive analysis information on a potential threat to my business, which in this case, um, the restaurant is called Naked Farmer. And I thought it was a threat because they serve a lot of healthy food options. And I'm worried that if I don't make my food truck better than what they're serving, um, there could be some competition. I also researched how to be how to like start a successful business, especially in the food truck industry, because it's important to start understanding and learning about how to actually start all of this. And then I also did three in-person interviews. One of them was Casey Short, another was Taylor Hicks, another was Kelly Dorr, and those all occurred on September 22nd, um, 2023.